Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. You have heard about Mennonites and Amish and how they come together and help each other when there's been a disaster. And I am going to show you in this video that this is absolutely 100% true and I'm going to explain why it is. And I know that a lot of times when you hear this, a lot of you don't know much about Amish and Mennonites, you wonder the big question is why? Why, why do they do it? And so that's going to be later in the video, but for right now, we've got to get to work and get this thing cleaned up. My pastor Jake had his huge building burned down here, and in this building, they build these mini barns and sheds. And so basically, a lot of people in my church are in construction, but a lot aren't. But you don't have to be in construction to clean up after a fire, and we've got just a lot, massive amounts of of rubbish that needs to be cleaned up. So we got to get to that right now. Okay. Wheel there. Filled out. Yeah. Well, Joe, looks like you're gonna get to do some work today. <laughs> well, I reckon, reckon I got a load. Yeah, they just now told me to go get a load, so I guess yeah. I'll go get a load. Okay. Go ahead and have a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for safety and protection this morning. Thank you for the um, ability, Lord, of so many friends and just to come together and, and help and get everything cleaned up. And um, just bless each one, bless their families. Also bless the food to our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So yeah, just go ahead and start eating. Eric, you going to take off there and I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
over and just show them how I was done. Get out of here and just down on it, right? Is that good? Yes, sir. Is that good, Kevin? <laughs> howdy, howdy. Hey, howdy. Well, we ate our lunch and it was awful good. And now we got back out here. I could just got one more load here to haul of scrap metal and we'll be pretty much done. Got it looking pretty good out here. All in just a few short hours. Hey folks, I am with my pastor, Jake here. And I'm going to do a little interview with Jake about the fire. The, the building that we burnt was his building. And so I'm just going to ask some questions that I'm sure that you have already thought of because naturally when something like this happens, it just brings a lot of questions. So first thing I want to ask um, Jake, um, what was the size of the building that burnt? Well, it was actually about 60, 60 wide by a little over 200 feet long. So, so that's right at 12,000 square feet. Yeah. Right off the bat, for on the behalf of my viewers and myself, I'd like to just say we're sorry that happened. Um, was there ever any evidence to show why the fire started? Well, um, there's nothing that's actually been verified as a... As a what caused the ignition you know we suspect something electrical uh personally i do not believe there was any foul play i do not know of anyone that has ever had any intention to try to to, to burn it down we've had an occasional small uh theft here and there maybe uh at night over over the past 15 years so um this building burns down and it's gone. Was the building insured? No, no, I don't. Um, I, I, I will carry insurance to the degree that I'm required to by the other companies I'm working with. But I guess insurance to me is one of the big things as a, as a, that has, has really stepped away from a real faith in God. I, to me, I, I really believe that we believe that God exists, but we believe that God more than exists. We believe that his promises concerning taking care of us are true. And I know he normally does that through a brotherhood, but a God is, is not reliant only on brothers. He, he says he'll take care of us and he won't let, allow us to go through what we can't handle. And, and I have that faith in him. I, I, would, I, would, I would feel like it'd be a serious affront to God on a personal level, my relationship with him for me to buy insurance to protect myself against him taking my business away. As Amish Mennonite type people, we we often see that they they help each other in these disasters and these calamities. Um, do the Amish and Mennonite people only help each other, or will they help others in disaster? The basis of the reason that we help people is because we have received help for ourselves from, from God. Uh, the death of Jesus Christ and him shedding his blood on the cross was a symbol of love from God to us. And that love, we have no, no way of repaying back to God except to repay it to our fellow men. And to answer the question, would we help others? We feel like scripture has given us a mandate that first of all, we help our brothers but the compassion and love in our hearts would certainly require us and call us to help our, our neighbors. And we have been very active in that. Uh, I've even had, had a fellow that has been helped recently outside of our community come to me and, and give me a, a, a gift when this happened just because he, he was responding to the love that was shown to him from the community. Mm. Are you saying that that when you help somebody that has a disaster, that it's more than just a humanitarian aid? It's very clearly a response to what we have received. We love him because he first loved us. It's not just because, just because we are humans and owe that to humanity. It's actually a response to a gift given to us. And I do believe that that love that comes into our hearts from, from receiving the work of Christ will create a lot of humanitarian 
aid. But that's not the only premise that it, that it, that it dwells on. It changes our hearts, makes our hearts compassionate and loving when we realize us as sinful, sinful humans have been bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and his blood has washed our sin away. And now how can I pass on that blessing to others? Brother Jake, do you feel like that Amish Mennonites are the only people that have the ability to show this love and to receive this love and to have that one-on-one -on -one connection with Jesus Christ himself? No, absolutely not. Uh, I think that the value that the Amish and Mennonite tradition and heritage, our Anabaptist background, has brought in has been a, a, life, a lifetime of, of striving to be obedient to the teachings of Christ. But to, that is their greatest value. They're not, it's, not a, it's not a value strictly derived from a background. It's very much a biblical value. And, and many of the blessings that come along with, with brotherhood and brotherhood, brothers sharing with each other is simply a biblical blessing that God calls us to have with all true believers. And I really feel like things like Social Security by our government and insurances has somewhat limited our capacity to really care for each other. And instead of the God met my need, it becomes the government met my need. And instead of the brothers met my need, it becomes the insurance that has met my need. But as far as a, it being a Mennonite or a Amish reality, it certainly is not. It's, it's, it is Christian. It is about Jesus Christ and it has no, has no church boundaries whatsoever. Timer? I don't know. folks so there you have it at the first of this video you saw it in shambles absolutely in ruins and as a group we just got together picked it all up hauled it off scraped it up and cleaned it up and as you see they poured concrete 
over the old concrete. They completely rebuilt. The trusses are 80 feet long. Them are some long, long trusses. And so three weeks to the day from the fire, the fire was burning. Three weeks to the day, we've got it looking exactly like this right here. So, what the, the plan is to have this thing in full operation one month from the fire. That is that is pretty good turnaround. And you can only do that when you pull together and help each other. So, I hope this video has been a blessing to you. I know that nobody wants to have a a disaster or a fire or any kind of thing like that but when it happens we can make things better for each other if we give of ourselves our time our energy our money and help that is just the way it is and and we find that we want to do that because we love others because Jesus loved us first so I appreciate you watching this video we appreciate our viewers. We appreciate every one of you. If you're not subscribed to this channel, we'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing. And we're going to get on out of here. We will see you on the next video.